So when we graph these guys, we've got y equals x squared, and we've got y is the square root of x, and we're graphing it between 1 fourth and 1. I know they intersect at 1. I should have checked that first because I want to know when x squared equals x. You could guess that it equals 1 because 1 squared equals the square root of 1. That happens a lot, so... But if you didn't want to do it, you could actually square both sides, subtract the x, factor out the x, and say that x is 0 or 1 based on that. So excellent. We got our intersection we picture. Now we're just going to do this guy here is clearly always on top of that line there. So we're going to do a top minus bottom. So the top curve is the square root of x, the bottom curve is the x squared. dx, our x's are going from 1 fourth to 1. And just take the antiderivatives. I'm going to rewrite the square root of x as x to the 1 half so that I can add 1 to the power and divide by what I get. Add 1 to the power, divide by what I get, 1 fourth and 1. All that's left to do is plug in the 1. So I get that. I subtract what I get when I plug in the 1 fourth. 1 fourth to the 3 halves minus, let's go, 1 third times 1 fourth cubed. And so whatever that is, we I trust you can subtract fractions. Although this part here, that's uh, the square root of 4 cubed. So, sorry, the square root of 1 fourth cubed. The square root of 1 fourth is a half, cubed is an eighth. And here, this is just 1 fourth cubed, so that's 1 over 64. And I'm going to let you work that out to get some lovely answer that the book will tell me if I look it up. This is 5, 1, number 7. Book tells me that once I do that whole mess, it's going to end up being 4 thirds. No, wrong one. 49 over 192. <laughs> I'm like, really? That nice? So 49 over 192 when you simplify that nasty fraction. Have fun.